for fear of losing her dear relationship with John. Her choices led her to, the, to be the victim of an awful accident. As her body laid breathless on the pavement, her spirit was led away by an angel, first to heaven and then to hell. There she received her verdict. Her disobedience made her guilty and perishable, punishable by death. What will become of her? Come on, Sancho, go down me now. Come on. Yes, 250. 250? Clear. 2 days later No Sanjay listen Miss Sanjay No Miss Sanjay listen you have to calm down No you have to calm down just calm down just calm down listen You need rest you need Sanjay Sister San Sanjay Sanjay listen Sanj Sanjay listen Sanjel, Sanjel, listen, you have to be rested. You need rest. You need to calm down. Don't take it so hard. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. The doctor says that you need rest. You need to calm down. It's hard, but you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Right. It's okay. It's okay, Sandra. It's okay. My arm! It's okay. My arm! So, Sandra, no! It was very badly damaged, and we had to amputate it. You need to just calm. It will be all right. You have life. It will be okay. It will be okay. Just calm down. Just calm down. Alright. It's alright. It's alright, Sister Sandra. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, there. I'm sorry, but what? I'm sorry, Sanjay, but John, he he didn't make it. No. Oh, Sanjay, no, look, look, Sanjay, just calm down, please, just calm down. You need rest. I don't want you to go. You need rest. Just calm down. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. Everything will be okay. Just calm down. Sanjel, just calm down. Just Please. calm down. No, I can't help you. The doctor distinctly said I that you need to rest. I have to do this now. You have to do. No, you need rest first. Sanjel. No, no, Sanjel. I can't allow you to do this. I can't allow you to do this. You I'm need to stay and get. No, no, Sanjel. No. No, Sanjel. You need Mercy. rest. You know, you know what? All right, come. Okay. 
You're okay, no? Please just leave me alone, no. Just, all right. I, if you need me, I'll be right there. Just call me, okay?
open it up to you, Lord. God, touch her, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Help me to the last thing will be. Sure. Praise the Lord, everybody. All right, we're going to have the opening prayer now. I'm going to ask that all of us please stand. All right, everybody is going to pray. I'm going to ask that you go in groups of twos or threes. And this is going to be a prayer of surrenderance. Surrenderance of the service, surrenderance of self, surrender of, surrenderance of everything that is going to occur today. And I'm just going to ask that you group up now. And bow your heads while I pray. Dear God, we thank you for being God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wonderful power, for your blessings. Oh God, right now we pray that you will take control of everything that is to happen, that is going to happen, oh God, and that has happened. Lord Jesus, you are great and you are deserving of the utmost praise and all the glory due unto your name. Lord Jesus, as undeserving as we are, you still come in our midst and you dwell amongst us, O oh God. And you see, O oh Lord Jesus, and you are pleased. Lord God, I pray that you will have complete control over this service. That, Lord, nothing will be done without your consent. That, God, we will not let self come in between what needs to be done. But that, Lord Jesus, we will stand on your word. That we will stand on your foundation. Lord God Almighty, I pray that every spirit will become under surrenderance of you, Lord Jesus. Lord of distraction. Lord Jesus of sleepiness. Lord God, that you will completely be saturated in this place Lord Jesus and that you will find your your resting place in this in this tabernacle Lord Jesus I pray that you will move through each and every bench Lord God that no one will be left oh Lord Jesus that every soul that enters through the doors of Pentecostal tabernacle will feel a difference Lord Jesus that they will feel a change Lord God like a rope wrapped around them drawing them into the altar to be surrendered oh God as a sacrifice before you Lord Jesus I pray that you will just let your spirit encamp round about this place Lord Jesus every corner every place Lord Jesus every crevice every opening Lord God and that you will find every vacant space Lord Jesus in the hearts of us oh God and fill it with your undying love and your compassion. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will touch our hearts to be receptive of the word that is to be given. That, Lord God, we will hear and that we will be good grown, Lord Jesus. Don't let any of your word fall by the wayside. And don't let the enemies creep in and sweep it up, Lord Jesus. But let it be planted and bring forth fruit in Jesus name Lord God I pray for the speaker tonight that you will anoint his lips oh God that he will speak with authority that he will speak with the utterance of the Holy Ghost not of himself Lord God but of you and solely of you that Lord it may be spread out amongst everywhere Lord Jesus that those on the road will see the fire burning within and desire to come within to find out what is this what is this great salvation being offered lord god i pray that you will extend your arms of mercy over us oh god that you will allow us to find peace lord jesus that you'll allow us to find compassion oh god that we will be so engrossed in your love lord god that we will not find time to wander that we will not find time to think about other things but that we will so be so captivated by what you have to say that lord you will be able to speak speak in us and through us and that your love may flow through us lord god 
Lord Jesus, I pray that surrenderance may be given of every soul in here today. That God Almighty, even as we pray right now, that no one will be subjected to distraction. That no one will be subjected, oh God, to a wandering mind. But that God, they will find focus, Lord Jesus, on one accord, in one place to give you and you alone the glory and the praise that is due unto you your name. Lord Jesus, I pray that your will be done even now and that God, we all will be held in your will, Lord Jesus. That glory will be given to you, Lord Jesus, in abundance more than we can think, more than we can offer, Lord God, but that it will be a sacrifice, Lord Jesus, given to you with complete surrenderance, Lord God. Lord Jesus, I pray that our bodies may be presented as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, that we will not be, that we will have, we will be without fault, Lord God, blameless towards you, that Lord, everybody who comes to that platform, Lord Jesus, to do something, will be able to do it with you, Lord God, that you will stand beside them, that you will speak through them, Lord Jesus. I pray for the Bible reader, oh God, that they will not just speak or read, but that they will be given with conviction, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I pray that your will will be done and that you will have complete control, Lord Jesus, as you are Lord of Lords. You are the King of Kings. You are the mighty God, the everlasting Father who sees and who knows everything, Lord God. I pray for every issue that is being presented today, oh God especially for the students, for the youth, Lord God, in their SBAs, in their IAs, in their schoolwork, that God, it may be, ref be a reflection of your will and your undying love, that God, effort and, and energy will be put into doing our work, that we will not be left wandering in confusion and stress oh god i pray for the adults here today lord jesus as they go about their work lives that lord you will allow them to help the burden to be lifted from their shoulders that god they will find rest and peace in you that lord jesus you will encamp round about them lord jesus that you will send your angels to reign over them lord god that every head is here, oh God, will be caught on fire, Lord Jesus, like on the day of Pentecost, that every soul that is not saved, that doesn't have a relationship with you, that doesn't know you, Lord God, will even be able to be saved in their very seat. And Lord Jesus, I speak with authority that you will have your way, Lord God, that you will be able to fill in the midst of this place, Lord God, that those sitting at the back, that those sitting at the front, that those sitting at the middle, Lord Jesus, will fill feel your anointing and feed off of what you have to offer. Lord God, I pray that you will just have your way even now, Lord Jesus, that no spirit, oh God, shall be able to come in between your people and you, Lord God, that you will bridge that gap that is presented even now. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will just charge the spirits, oh God, that Lord God, we will be able to attack the enemy, Lord Jesus, because once good is there, Lord God, there is going to be evil. But Lord Jesus, I pray that the devil will not be in control because you are the God of everything and you are able to control, oh God, and to know even before it occurs. Lord Jesus, I put every scenario in your hands. Lord Jesus, I put every soul, every thought, every emotion, Lord God, that in spite of, of, of how we may feel, we'll be able to present our praise to you, Lord God. Just like Abel, Lord Jesus, 
blameless and acceptable unto you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will just have your way even now. Let your blood flow, Jesus, through our veins. Let those who are filled with the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus, be rekindled tonight. That, Lord Jesus, those who haven't seen you, who, has, who haven't touched you in a long time, will be able to get their refreshing, oh God, to rekindle that fire that once burned so bright. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will enkindle zeal within us, Lord God, that we will go forth, Lord Jesus, and minister to those who need to know you, that we will not sit on this salvation that you have given to us, but that, Lord, we will provide ourselves as a medium for you to work through us, Lord God. Lord Jesus, put your good wine in our clean vessels tonight. Forgive us of every sin, Lord Jesus. Everything that could possibly corrupt this flesh, Lord God. I pray that we will be blameless before you, Jesus, with no fault, with no hindrance, but that God, our praises may go up as a funnel, O oh God, with nothing to hinder it, Lord Jesus. God, I pray that you will have your way, that you will have complete control, that God, your anointing will reign, that Jesus, you will be a comforter, be a comforter unto those who have lost loved ones, their God. There are so many people dying, so much youth dying so many young children who are dying from some things that you would never think could occur but God you are able to extend your hands of mercy that God almighty every sin may be forgiven down to the murderer oh God will feel released tonight that they will feel no burden upon them but that God you will just have your way that you will be the God of everything. That Jesus, you will just move through us, oh Lord. I pray that you will start a revival, oh God. Beginning with your youth tonight. That Lord Jesus, we will be the head and not the tail. Because Lord, you have called upon us because we are strong. I pray that you will allow us to not be falling by the wayside, oh God. And not to just be falling in every wind of doctrine oh lord jesus but that we will develop a purpose and that we will develop our calling even now to come to you to preach the word oh god it starts from now Tonight, Lord Jesus, I pray that a conscious decision will be made in the hearts of each and every one of us. That, Lord God, we will look to you for help to lead us in every scenario, Lord Jesus. That you will be our or shelter in the time of storm. That God you will be those comforting arms. In the time of distress. In the time of grief Lord God. That you will extend your mercy. That you will extend your grace. And God that you will just light a fire upon our heads. That Jesus we will be able to fight any demon that may come, that may decide to try and hinder us from doing what you wish to do. Lord God, what you have begun, Lord Jesus, you will finish out to the end. Allow us to rest on your promises, to rest on those that you have set, oh God, for the promises unto us and to our children, oh God, that we may be able to start a new generation that knows God. Lord Jesus, let us not be like the Israelites that have gone without having any relationship with you without knowing anything about you lord god but let us be able to start something new to be trendsetters oh god in our society at school 
school, Lord Jesus, that we will lead the way, oh God, to salvation, that we will carry millions behind us, Lord Jesus, that we will not be followers, but that we will be leaders, Lord God, that we will have the most excitement for you, Lord Jesus, to fight the battles that are set, oh God. I pray that your armor will be encamped around us, Lord Jesus, that our heads, our minds, which is the seat of every thought, oh God, every conscious decision may be encamped, Lord Jesus, by the helmet of salvation, that we will be saved beyond just our exterior, but in our interior, oh God, in our hearts and in our minds, Lord Jesus, that we will not harbor malice, that we will not harbor anger, but God, let us forgive our brothers because we cannot come to you and ask for forgiveness if we have not forgiven each other. Lord Jesus, I pray for unity right now. I pray for unity right now, Lord God. That you will have us on one accord. That Lord, we will be able to hear from you. That you will be able to speak to us, Lord Jesus. For it is not with confusion that you work, oh God. But you work on one accord. You work with people who are united. I pray that Jesus, that we will all have the ultimate purpose oh god to serve you tonight and anybody who has any other objective tonight lord jesus i pray that they will leave in right now lord god because unity is where there is power lord god almighty i pray that you will be able to move through this place Lord Jesus that you will be able to have your way in everything that is done Lord God that we will not be subject to any spirit of distraction any spirit of confusion Lord God but that your anointing will be placed head over this place oh God I pray that you will summon your angels Lord Jesus hallelujah to encamp this place oh God to fight every spirit that may decide to come Lord God with ulterior motives to distract our youth but that God every soul that is here today that does not know you that does not have a relationship with you that tonight I pray God you will see save as many as is here today that God you will anoint everybody in here Lord Jesus to heal the sick and to do extraordinary tonight that God we will not be subjected to the enemy but with power and with authority Lord Jesus we'll be able to plead your blood upon each and everybody in here oh God I pray that you will be able to have your way Lord Jesus that God Almighty a fire may begin to burn within us Lord Jesus those who are completely distracted by everything in life Lord God I pray that you will find a way to touch us Lord Jesus and to speak to us and to speak through us Lord God let us minister in our worship tonight let us minister in our prayers tonight Lord God let us minister Lord Jesus that we will be used by you complete surrender oh God we pray complete surrender tonight that nothing will be done against your will but that God you will be the God of our lives tonight that Jesus you will have your way that you will move through us oh God anoint our lips Lord Jesus anoint our minds Lord Jesus 
Oh God, I pray for protection over those who are on their way. That God, the enemy, will be put under subjection. Lord Jesus, that the enemy will tremble tonight, Lord God, because you are doing something extraordinary. God, because you are going to do something magnificent where limits are taken off you, Lord Jesus. But that, God, you are in complete control. That your deity, Lord Jesus, may be made magnified, oh God, in this place. That, Lord Jesus, the roofs can not contain the power that you will move through each and every one of us Lord God that you will be made large larger than larger than life Lord God larger than anything we could think or understand tonight Lord Jesus be bigger than our comprehension that we will leave today and say wow Wow, look what God did for me. Look what God has done. Lord Jesus, have your way. Have your way, Lord God. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. In your blessed and most heavenly name I pray. Amen. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus, Jesus. no turning back, no turning back. One more time, I have decided. cross before me the cross before me the world behind me the cross before me the world behind me the cross before me the world One more time, the cross before me. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world. No turning back, 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 no turning back. Just close your eyes and worship the Lord and sing, no turning back. 
no turning back, no turning, no turning back, no turning back, no turning back, turning back. One last time, no turning back. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let us just worship the Lord, and I'm going to invite everybody that's seated to just stand. We're going to be reading the word of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Tonight's reading is taken from Matthew 7, and we're reading verses 13 through to 29. It reads, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there are, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. Beware the, of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye who practice lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on the house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on the house, and it fell, and, was great, was, and great was its fall. And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. There ended the reading. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Could we just lift our hands and just worship the Lord? Just thank him for allowing us to be in his presence one more time. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Tonight is Friday night already. Amen. Amen. And we just want to thank the Lord for bringing us thus far. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Could you just reach across and greet someone and just welcome them to the service this evening? Amen. 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 If you haven't seen them all week, just say to them, where have you been? You've missed a lot. Amen. You've missed a lot. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. After you've greeted a few persons, you may take your seat. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you are a guest of ours this evening, Amen. we just like to welcome you, amen, to our Youth Week 2015 under the theme, 
the ultimate decision, heaven or hell. Amen? And I'm sure if you were, you came in from the front door, you saw the sign choose. And then you saw heaven or hell. Amen? I think tonight is a little bit cooler over on this side. Yeah, I don't see many persons fanning tonight. Amen, amen, amen. Don't turn off the fan, Pastor. Don't turn it off. Amen. We don't want them to run out. Amen, 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 amen. But if you are indeed visiting us for the first time, amen, we'd like to acknowledge you. Could you just stand? Amen. You're here. You got received an invitation. Amen. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord for these gentlemen. Amen. F five, six. Amen. Welcome. Welcome, gentlemen. It's so good to have you here. Amen. The Bible says, young men, I call upon you because, amen, you are strong. So we're glad that our men are here. Amen. Visiting with us. Amen. And if you are here from Like Precious Faith, we also like to welcome you as well. We thank you for accepting our invitation and just coming out to fellowship with us. Amen. If you are here from, well, tonight we have the choir or the group from North Kingston. Could you just stand and shout praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. We'll be hearing from them a little later. Amen. Is there any... Anybody else who came with the choir? You're here tonight? No? Yes? All right. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. Is that? Could you? St yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Is your wife here tonight, sir? No. Okay, okay, okay. Well, please greet her on our behalf, and it's good to see you. Amen. I'm going to invite our ushers to come. Amen. Just a few reminders, the funeral service for Sister Lorna Eason, pastor of Harvest Ministries in Spanish Town, and the sister, Sister Davin Walters and Minister Paul Walters, will be held at the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World Headquarters Convention Center, 30 Job's Lane, Spanish Town, tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. For those of us who can give support to Sister Walters and Minister Walters, please do so. Also on Saturday, the funeral service for the brother-in-law, Sister Monica Beecher, will be held tomorrow at the Jehovah's Witness Assembly in Green Island, Hanover, at 11 a.m. Just like to say that please pray for Sister Beecher. Amen. After hearing the news that her her husband's brother-in-law passed away. She got the news that two other relatives passed away as well. So please pray for her and pray for her husband. Amen? Amen. It's never easy to lose family members or loved ones. Amen? Amen. Also, the funeral service for the father, brother Dawit Grant, will be held on Sunday, March 29th at Christian Fellowship Church. Lucy Hanover at 2 p.m. Amen. Also, there's a little refreshment that was prepared. Amen. It's not for free. Amen. But you can go after the service and just check it out. We have fried chicken and chips, soup, fritters, and festival. And we have juice as well. Amen. So if You've given your all, amen. You can go over and give your all again in eating, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Also, there are CDs or DVDs on sale. I think it's $200, right, Brother Lestine? $200. You can get it after the service tonight, amen. Amen, amen. Could we all stand? Oh, and just, just to let us know, on Sunday, we'll be having... The students from, well, not the students, the members from the children's home. Amen. So we're going to ask that you just make them feel welcome. I think Sister Renee told me that about 55 of them will be coming. Amen. The last time they came, that great number, 10 of them got baptized. 
So we're just hoping that the Lord will do something again. Amen? So we're going to ask that we make the middle aisle available, probably about five benches, just to seat them. Amen? Amen. Could we all bow our heads? Lord Jesus, we thank you for another opportunity to give to your cause. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll touch each and every one of us in a special way tonight. We know that we are experiencing challenging times, obstacles. But as we heard last night, we just need to remember the who, the God who brought us over the obstacles that were before us years before. And we will see that he will take us even over those obstacles which are ahead of us. And that we just need to trust you, Lord, and believe in you because you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we are, we are able to ask or think. So, Lord, we pray that as we give tonight, we will give believe in your word that you will not be a debtor to no man. For God, Lord Jesus, you love it, a cheerful giver. We thank you tonight for those who will stretch forth their hands to give. Bless them, we pray. And for those who may not have something to give tonight, we pray that indeed you will bless them. Bless them with jobs or bless someone overseas that will send them something. Amen. So we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give us unto the Lord. Sister Tomoy Reed is leading us in a time of worship. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. So our theme for this week, what is it? The ultimate decision, heaven or hell. Thank you, Kamika. Now would church like to join in? What's our theme for this week? The, the ultimate, ultimate decision, decision heaven, heaven or, or hell. hell. And the reason why sometimes this decision is so hard to make is because we forget who we are and we forget whose we are. So we're, we have to, at all times, remember that. If you remember that, it is clear sailing. You know where you're going. You know what you're about. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. We are a chosen generation. Call for to show His excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation Come for to show His excellence All I require for life All I require for life God has given me I know who I am We are, we are, we are We are a chosen generation Come for to show His excellence All I require for life Being 
may be seated. Amen. Before the choir sings, I'm just going to invite Brother Ronaldo. Amen. Just to greet us. He's the youth president for North Kingston. Amen. Can we all shout a praise unto our God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's wonderful to be here in the house of God. I greet Pastor Bartlett. We greet Brother Nathan and all you wonderful people here in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Let us experience Jesus tonight. God bless. The choir at this time. Amen. Could you lift your hands and worship Jesus? We serve a God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. His power is matchless. We serve the true God. Hallelujah. Exceedingly abundantly above all yeah. you could ask or think according to the past.
on, let's worship the Lord. He's able. He's able. He's able. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad my God is able. I'm so glad my God is able. Hallelujah. It makes no difference what's the problem. Hallelujah. My God is able. My God is able. Come on, if you know your God is able. Hallelujah. Just worship Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So good to have my friend here, Brother Joseph, read one more time. Brother Joseph, just shout hallelujah. It's good to have you with us again, sir. Amen, amen. It's also good to have Minister Demoy Nash from North Kingston, UPC. Amen, and he'll be speaking to us tonight. Let's just lift our hands one more time as he comes to declare the single Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands and worship the Lord? Can we just magnify him for about a minute in this place? He is altogether lovely. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I wish to see all those 40 and under in this building to stand. Those who are older can remain standing. But I want this group to lead us in 30 seconds of real worship. Hallelujah. All those who are under 40. According to the United Pentecostal Church of Jamaica, we are the youths. Can we, can we just lead it? About 30 seconds of real worship. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes! God is able. He's able. Hallelujah. We worship Him. We worship Him. He is worthy of all the praise. Oh, glory be to God. We praise the name of the Lord. While you are standing, I want you to turn with me to the book of St. John, chapter 11, chapter 12 rather, and we'll read the first two verses, and we'll skip over to Ephesians, and we'll read chapter 2, verse 6. When you find it, Feel free to give a shout unto the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Six days before the Passover came to Bethany where Lazarus was which had been dead whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Ephesians 2 verse 6. And had raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Verse 5. Even when we were dead in sin, had quit us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved. Can you bow your heads across this room tonight? Divine God, who sits atop the circle of this great universe, there is none like you. You are worthy of every praise we can ever give tonight. And all the praise we can ever give throughout eternity. You are worthy, God. I'm nothing in your presence. 
your everything. Use me for your glory tonight. Take pleasure out of your servant, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we thank you. In your name we pray, amen. You can be seated. While you're taking your seat, just turn to somebody and tell them, I am one of them at the table. It's my delight to be here tonight to share in your youth week. I want to take the time out to greet host Pastor Bartlett and family and all the ministers here, youth president, praise the Lord Jesus. Brother Nathan, praise God, the visiting choir from the church that I worship, and all the saints from North Kinson that are here. I'm not sure if my wife is here as yet. Can you believe it? Praise God. But she should be here tonight. And just about everybody who came to worship the Lord. Isn't the Lord lovely? When, when, you, when, you, when you think of where he has brought you from, and some stuff he's saving you from. And he give you a glimpse of where he's taking you to. You just don't need nobody to stimulate you to worship. Because, because worship then becomes a product of your relationship with Almighty God. Can we bless him in this place? Can we bless him in this place? You know, I, I have been privileged to, I've been brought up in the church. All my life I've been in the church. Not always been saved, but I've been around the church. Praise God. And as I am getting older, I am concerned about what I term, maybe it's not the correct term, apostolic security. To me, that is ensuring that if God, the Lord Jesus Christ, does not come 100 years from now, there's still a vibrant apostolic church. One that, ju that just not lift hands and worship and sing, but one that will maintain the doctrine. One will ensure that people, we create an atmosphere that people can receive the Holy Ghost and are saved and baptized in the name of Jesus. But when we look at the church today, our largest population does not reside with those under 21 that are saved. And I don't know what it does to you, but it's alarming. I like research, and I was at this church recently, and I was counting the numbers roughly. There was about past 120 plus people in the church. And believe it or not, only 22 of those were males. I'm not saying grown men, males. Praise the Lord Jesus. And it caused me to stretch my mind a little bit. Where will we get spouses for our young people? Praise God. And this is a, a serious issue for especially for ladies. All glory be to Jesus. But, but I believe... In securing this apostolic heritage, that we also have to meet the demands of our people. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. I believe our young people in this time more than ever before are under serious attack. I would say much more than even the previous generation. Because what these young people are exposed to on a daily basis... And still lift their hands to praise God. It's a victory. Hallelujah be to God. And so every time we as young people come in the house of the Lord. We must know that we are survivors. Because we have survived some wiles of the devil. Oh glory be to Jesus. This world has become a bitter spot. And the aim is to eliminate a generation of apostolics. And so more than ever before, we have got to unite as one body. And we have got to ensure whatever difficulties our young people are in, we have got to deliver them for the sake of Christ. Can I submit to you tonight that many of our young people, they are bound. Yes. They are depressed. 
they don't feel fit in with the mainstream. They would rather be doing something else than coming to church. Because when they evaluate their lives and match it to our bylaws and our rules, praise the Lord, it condemns them even when they're trying. Oh, glory be to Jesus. But can I tell us tonight that I really believe this set of young people really want to serve the Lord God. And all they need is just some support. They just need, need a little push. Every now and then they need a little pat on the back. And said, I was in your corner. Go on a little further. Can somebody bless the Lord? As we look at this story tonight of Lazarus. There are four main characters that jump out at us. Jesus, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Praise God. And in the previous text, we learn of the notable miracle of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Could you believe that? Jesus was Lazarus' friend. And Lazarus was sick unto death. Jesus said it's not unto death. And instead of Jesus going to heal Lazarus, he make a U-turn. He was just about two miles away and he went in the opposite direction. Well, if I was in Lazarus' situation, I might have wanted to question Jesus' friendship. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. But can I tell you, he's a friend that never fails. He's a friend that will continue to deliver even when it's not obvious. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. He's working on our behalf. Oh, praise the Lord God Almighty. I want to say to you that Lazarus must have been the laughing stock. Everybody looking on at him and he's Jesus' friend. And he's sick unto death. And no, he's not just sick, he's dead. Why Jesus... What he was doing was not even mentioned in the scripture. Oh, glory be to God. But that doesn't mean that he didn't love Lazarus. He wanted to show forth his glory. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Can you believe Lazarus was unpicked to demonstrate God's glory? I wonder if, praise the Lord Jesus, some of us in here tonight, we are picked out just for God to demonstrate his glory. Hallelujah be to Jesus. We might have been going through a rough spell. We might have been going through uncertain waters. Oh, praise God. But let us not be naive for one minute that God is not with us. Our situation has been designed for the glory of God. It took me a long while to understand that. But recently, I was looking back. You know, I, I was brought up in the country. Spent all most of my life there. And we had this pear tree in the yard. Big pear tree and it produced some big avocados. And we call them giant because of their size. A hurricane came and it, it really shook giant real bad. All its spears were gone and leaves and, and all the budwoods, they were gone. We thought that was it. Nobody paid any mind for about two years. One and two peer. But after about two years, we got an abundance of peer that we have never seen before. Now from my agricultural background, I understand some things that took place. The tree got so shaken, it caused the root, praise the Lord God, and the soil that compacted the root to become loose. And so what that enabled was for here and more water to get down through the root. And for more nutrients to rapidly spread through the soil. The budwoods that were old and bearing just few pears, they too were torn off and fresh budwood came. The storm that we thought came to destroy this tree really didn't came to destroy it. It came to get rid of some whole budwoods that were busy growing few pears. But it produced 
fresh budwoods that cause an abundance of fear to grow. Can I tell you that whatever experience you have had in your life, it didn't just came to eliminate you. But when you get over it, you'll see what it does for you. It will do more for you than you can do for yourself. Can somebody give God glory? That was what Lazarus' situation did to him. The Lord Jesus, the Bible said, came into town and he stopped there. Waiting for Lazarus' siblings to come. Martha came and her approach was unique. Not to our people of this day. But maybe back then could have been. She came and she didn't say much different from Mary. But her attitude was that she was grumbling. She was complaining. Lord, you know if you had been here. And even when Jesus said to her that I am the resurrection. She said, yes, I know that. But my brother will rise on that last day. But if your brother can rise on that last day, what about today? Oh, praise the Lord. If things can get better tomorrow, why not today? And what moves God is our faith in him. Is our firm belief in him that he will come true no matter what the condition, no matter what the circumstances. Oh, glory be to God. And so she couldn't get God to move. The Bible says she ran hastily to call Mary. But Jesus abode in the same place. Mary came, said almost the same thing. But she had a difference in attitude. Oh, glory be to Jesus. The, the word of God have us to know she hit the ground. She bowed down. She started to cry. She started to groan. And something started to happen to Jesus. His eyes became filled with water. And the Bible said he wept. That tells me that he can be touched by what I'm going through. Young people, whatever situation you are going through, believe it that God is feeling what you're feeling. Hallelujah be to Jesus. He's feeling a need to satisfy your need. Hallelujah be to Jesus. And he can't stop feeling that need until your godly needs are supplied. Can somebody bless the Lord? Can I tell you church that Jesus, if you look at his character in essence as pure God, he cannot need because he's self-reliance. But we see him going down to Samaria at the well. And he said he must need go through Samaria. And those are strong words. Must need. Hallelujah be to Jesus. And we understand that, that if he can ever need of anything. That's really worship. Because he seeketh a worshiper. So when Mary came and Mary started to cry. The only need that Jesus had was to see that Mary's brother was resurrected from the dead. So he cried and he asked them, where have you laid him? Somebody said, don't bother with him. But I know he stinketh. He's dead stink. I wonder what they're saying about us when we're in our different predicaments. But I know he stinketh. Don't even... Oh, glory be to Jesus. Haven't been in church for, for three, four weeks. And the question is asked, where is he? Don't even bother ask about him. Oh, glory be to Jesus. But, but by now, Lazarus was dead stink. He was not put up in that grave for this miracle. So Jesus reserved him from the decomposing agent. He went through the same deteriorating process that happened to dead bodies. But Jesus as the master doctor he is. Doctors can only work while you're alive. You're only good enough for a doctor while you're still breathing oxygen. But for doctor Jesus, oxygen or no oxygen, you are still good enough. Because when he walked up there, by the time he got to that tomb, Lazarus' eyes were melt out. 
But as the great optician that he is, and the great ophthalmologist he is, it was no feat for him to push back two highs. By now his skin was melted. But oh my God, he's the greatest dermatologist anywhere around. He can put it back together. He knows all the tissues. He knows all the cells. It doesn't matter what you're going through. God of the remedy. God of the fix for your problem. Show me where you lay him. Show me where you lay him. Some of us church, we are so gifted and anointed for this time. And we have allowed our past to bury many of our gifts and calling. We have allowed our situations and our struggles that are imposed on us to cause us to hide and put in the back burner our calling. But can tonight you show Jesus where you lay that word of knowledge? Can you show Jesus where you lay that word of wisdom? Can you show him where you lay, you lay that discerning of spirit? Because this is what we need in this time to ensure that our young people are delivered from the bonds of sin and from the attacks and the wiles of Satan. We can't just get adjusted to warming and be comfortable in benches and come for a show. We have got to get radical because the times have intensified and the devil is not sparing anything to throw at the church. We have got to arise. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Lazarus, come forth after they move that stone away. There is a role for the church to assist, to ever be given that hand of assistance. And the reason is that today you might not be at the altar seeking. You might be the one rendering a hands praying for somebody. But next week you might very well find yourself be the one seeking. So we have got to ensure that at all times we have a hand to stretch to reach somebody. If any at all people are going to make the ultimate decision, even though it's largely an individual effort, people will have to get help to sustain and maintain that decision. God has raised us up together. Church, he called out Lazarus from that grave. And can you imagine, even when the people saw the man was standing, nobody rushed to lose him. They were mere skeptics. They were watching to see what he's going to do now. He's back from the dead. He's back from the, his thoughts are dead. Everything was dead. What he's going to do now? Church, I'm going to be honest tonight. There are days that I've come to church and I find myself in Lazarus situation. There are times in my life where my thoughts have become dead. Where my feelings have become dead. Where I feel like throwing in the towel. And God just sends somebody to walk over. And just a pat on the shoulder. And say, brother, you can make it. And I don't know where they came from. And how they knew that I needed that pat. But God so orchestrated that they were at the right place at the right time to pull me out of my grave and to lose me and let me go again in this life in this world we get so bound up easily we can get so tied easily and one of the main function of the church is that it must always be in a deliverance mode Always in a deliverance mode, ready to deliver the captive, ready to deliver the bound, ready to deliver those who are tied. Hallelujah be to Jesus. As they loose Lazarus, 
the passage turned swiftly to a table. And the Bible made sure it didn't just end with Lazarus not doing anything. But he put Lazarus as one of them that sat at the table. When we first get a picture of table, we look at Abraham when the theophany of God, the angel of the Lord came down to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And he stopped by Abraham to tell him what he was going to do. Sarah prepared the meal. And I know Sarah must have been a goodly wife because if he calls Abraham Lord, she must have known that you can't put food just down. You have to spread a table because the angel of the Lord is in the house. And so I believe she did that. And the picture turned again and we see here David calling to say, is there any of the household of Saul? And they say, yes, there's one. Jonathan's son. Mephibosheth. But they say, guess what? Something is wrong with Mephibosheth. It might not be the guy you want around the kingdom. He might not be the guy you want at church. Because he's crippled. He has a disability. From the waist down, he has no use. But I want to tell somebody, if you have no use, church is the place for you. Because God have a way to turn no use into good use. Hallelujah be to God. If you can't fit in nowhere, church is the place for you. David said, send for Mephibosheth. That he will sit at my table continually. That he will sit at my table always. He made mention of it three times. Ziba, go get him. Why would he call Mephibosheth to a table? Church, when you sit at a table, nobody can see from your waist down if there is a tablecloth on that table so your disability Mephibosheth will hide all the days of your life because you are sitting down at a table and if somebody comes in that room you can't differentiate between any one of the prince from Mephibosheth so when dead stinking Lazarus that had been raised from the dead with all what had happened to him because you see unlike Martha her story was one track she just loved the kitchen she just loved to be hospitable like many of us, we love the work of God so much that even when Jesus come in the church, we can't know to extricate ourselves to get to where he's at. We get caught up with the duty that we forget the God that gives the duty. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Unlike Martha, who was just at the kitchen, and unlike Mary, that was just had Jesus' feet. Lazarus had a roller coaster life. Friend that was alive. Friend that was sick. Friend that was dead. Friend that was rotten. Friend now that was at the table. What a life. And many of us in here tonight, we have had that roller coaster ride. But let me tell you something. We are more than conquerors. Because tonight we are in his presence. Tonight we are in his presence. And in his presence, there's fullness of joy. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. If you're ever weak, find yourself in the presence. If you're ever weak, find yourself in the presence. It's where you're going to get your strength. Here, Lazarus at the table, you can't differentiate between any of them. Is one of them at the table. Irrespective of what has happened to him, he's one of them at the table. His disabilities are gone. They are hidden. 
His limitations are hidden. And that's what God has done. He has raised us up together to sit in heavenly places. You think that when you're baptized in the name of Jesus and filled with the Holy Ghost, you are just raised up to sit in church. No, no, no. Because real warfare take place in the heavenlies. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers of darkness so God has raised us up to sit together in heavenly places I don't know how many of you ever walk into a boardroom and have seen a table before you might wonder why this big long table in this room but this is where collaboration takes place this is where partnership takes place this is where the board of management disseminate, praise the Lord, strategies to the lower staff to ensure that the operations of that entity remains viable. And so when the Lord raised us up to sit in heavenly places, what he has really done is called us to the bargaining table. And we are sitting with him because we get, we get the mandate from God right from him. We get the charge from God right from him. When you sit at the table, you don't get second on word. When you sit at the table, you get a word that can last you because it becomes a word from a relationship church you're at the table don't disqualify yourself one of the things that are affecting the body of Christ is the issue of low self-esteem and low self-worth. People don't believe that they can ever amount to anything. People think of themselves less. But I'm so glad Lazarus wasn't left out. And so make sure you know you are in the number. And when the role is called up yonder, you are going to be dear. Because the next time we'll see a table, is a table for the marriage supper when the stars from heaven shall fall and the, st and the sky shall crack open and the Lord shall come for his waiting bride and we shall rise together for that marriage supper are you ready tonight are you ready tonight are you ready tonight are you one of them that never think you can ever come to anything much who just believe your mount to failure in the will of Almighty God? We might fail. But he has always provided an avenue to get us up again. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. Hang on to the end of the rope. Kenyan Lannin's view. It's almost time for the Lord to come. When we look at the landscape of this world, this world is heading for a doom. There's nothing much around to hold on to. I believe we should all get a temporary sign and begin to walk around with all the things we love and begin to tag them with temporary. The car you love, the house you love, everything just stuck temporary because we're about to leave this place. This world is getting sick. This world is getting messed up. Every time you turn on the news, five dead, seven dead, four dead. This world is not our home. Don't get adjusted. Can we stand in this place? There's a call that is going forth to come to the table. This is where I'll tell you my plan for you. There's a call to come to the table. This is where I'll unfold my will for you. Can we lift our hands tonight? Hallelujah be to Jesus, Pastor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift your hands and worship God. This is a night of great hope. A word of great hope. My soul is filled. I feel fat. I feel like there is some marrow. Oh glory. Oh glory. No sad story. The Lord is on our side. My, 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 my. 
I love this word. Lift your hands and worship God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, even if you are dead, even if you are rotten, that's the gospel I love. Oh Lord, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I really don't want any crying tonight. I want you to take somebody by the hand and say, let's walk to the altar and rejoice. I don't care what your state is. It's time to rejoice. Time to rejoice. Time to give God thanks. Amen. I just feel good in God. Just come with me and rejoice. It's going to be all right. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, get somebody to hold your hand and say, I need the Holy Ghost tonight. Come on, people of God, just begin to rejoice. Just begin to rejoice. Say, Lord, I've heard your word. Even if I'm dead, even if I'm rotten, if my eyes are gone, I'm glad somebody is still preaching the gospel. Yes, I'm glad somebody understands. Worship God. The good news. Worship Jesus. Come on, everybody. It's a new season. It's a new day. Sing it. Sing it. Worship God, come on! It's a new season! It's a new day! it one more time. It said, oh, I feel the Lord.
want you to know that we believe in you. Like the preacher said, some of us, if we had the struggles that you had, maybe we wouldn't even be in the church today. I'm glad for honesty. I'm glad for preachers that are willing to be vulnerable before God's people. Listen, young people. I really believe this. I've been saying it, and I believe it. I believe this. This your generation is going to take the church further than we ever did. I, I, I'm, I've said it to you. I'm not worried. I'm just not one of those persons that are worried. I heard one of our young ladies pray in the service. I've never heard intercession like that. Oh, lift your hands and worship Jesus. Is there anybody here? Listen, is there anybody here you don't have the Holy Ghost? You don't have the Holy Ghost. I want you to just lift your hand up. You, you, you'd like to... Just lift it up. People are going to come where those hands are lifted. Keep lifting them until somebody comes to you. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, just lift your hand. You're going to receive the Holy Ghost yes, tonight. Young people, we are going to pray yes, them God. too. Hallelujah. I, I just believe that young people can lay hands on the sick. I just... I, I, I just believe that young people can do exploits for God. Anybody needs the Holy Ghost? My, 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 my. Anybody needs just a fresh touch of desire? Lift your hand up. Anybody here just need a fresh? Well, just get together and pray for each other then. That's how it will happen. Young people just, just form little groups that begin to pray for each other. Sing it. It's a new season. Oh, me. 
fight for us. There are some of you who are like David, 17 years old. You have been killing bears and lions that nobody knows. None of the old men could stand up against Goliath. Took a young man to kill the giant. I believe we are looking at some giant killers, preacher. Amen. I believe we are looking at some giant killers. You are not afraid of the things we are afraid of. Sometimes when you get old, you get traditionalized. You just want the status quo. But there are young people that want to be different. Oh God, I feel it. Listen, I don't care what you're struggling with. God wants to help you. Yes, 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 yes. You don't have to settle for a second class life. You are at the table of the Lord. Pull up your chair to the table. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pull up your chair to the table. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Pull up your chair to the table. Every time to feast at the table of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, every high thing must come down, and every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown, you overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down, and every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the Overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. Oh, yeah, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. In the name of Jesus.
I will do a new thing in you. I will do a new thing in you.
I surrender all to you. Oh! 
Hallelujah. Could you just lift our hands and worship the Lord? Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to be in your presence tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you for allowing us to come and worship you and give you all the honor and the glory. Jesus. We thank you for your word tonight. So refreshing. Lord Jesus, we appreciate the love that you have for us, God, to send your word to heal our hearts, to heal the broken pieces of our lives. We pray that, God, even now as we transition and turn our faces homeward, that, God, indeed, we will not forget the words that we have heard. We will not forget your presence that we felt, that we will go forward understanding Jesus that we are seated in heavenly places you have called us to your table God and so Lord you have handpicked us as we have been hearing God you have chosen us and we thank you for including us into your kingdom Lord grant us journey in mercies we pray breathe upon those who are still tarrying at the altar touch them even now in a special way in Jesus' name. Amen. Please remember we have services on Sunday morning and Sunday evening. If you're a visitor of us and you don't have a place of worship, amen, you can come and worship with us on Sunday. Service begins with Sunday school at 8.30. And our worship service begins at 10 a.m. Our evening service on Sunday begins at 6.30 p.m. Amen. The Lord Jesus bless you. Please greet someone as you go. Please remember, if you haven't had something to eat, you can go over to the kitchen, the dining area. We have food on sale. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.